Mr. Terrence, and we're coming at you again this week for our worship moments with Terrence. I hope that you guys had a great week last week talking about the five finger prayer, and I hope that you guys got a lot out of it. This week, we are going to be talking about serving, or what's a better way of saying serving? We're going to be talking about helping others, right? Um, so in the Bible, serving is one of the biggest acts of love, and it's also one of the biggest acts of worship. Um, serving is, you know, offering hospitality to one another without grumbling. And I actually want to tell you guys a story about it, um, a story about me serving. And it actually happened to me yesterday. So I was at my house and there was a dog that got loose, just a regular dog. And um, it was my neighbor's dog across the street. And the dog had got loose and everybody was afraid of it. Uh, my other neighbors were afraid of dogs, so they weren't trying to help. So um, what I did was I went outside and I actually got the dog on a leash and I took him to my backyard. Um, and then I went to go knock on the door of the neighbor who owned the dog and they just happened not to be home. Uh, so what I did was I let the dog stay in my backyard for a couple of hours until my neighbors got home. And while he was in my backyard, you know, of course, I fed him. Of course, I brushed him. I washed him. I made sure that he was comfortable. I made sure that he was good. And then when my neighbors got home, uh, I went and knocked on the door again. And I, you know, told him that their dog got loose and that I had the dog and that the dog was taken care of. And they were so appreciative because anything could have happened to the dog. The dog could have got hit by a car. Um, animal control could have been called and the dog would have been gone. Um, but it was just that one act of service or that one act of a good deed that uh, made my neighbor's day. And the reason that I wanted to bring this up to you guys is because that is a form of serving. The fact of the matter is that true serving brings joy and like I said before, it's an active deed of love and it doesn't matter what you do. Um, you could simply just open the door for somebody. You can pay for somebody's lunch. You can, you know, just give somebody a compliment. All of that is an act of service. Down here at Washington Street, we help out at the soup cellar. That's an act of service because we are helping those who are less fortunate and it, and it makes us grateful to, uh, it makes us grateful and it makes us appreciate what we do have. Um, and I just want to share that with you guys. So during this week, I want you to do something that's considered serving, whether that's, you know, helping a friend out, whether that's buying somebody's food. And this is not just for my children. This is for everybody who's watching, um, you know, do something nice to serve somebody, do something nice to help somebody else, because, you know, that's what Jesus was here for. Jesus wasn't here just to look just to look pretty and just to stay on earth for a couple of years. He was here to serve and he was here to help others and he was here to die for our sins. And by dying for our sins, that was the ultimate sacrifice and that was the ultimate service. I hope that you guys enjoy this little worship moment. I love you guys. Have a great day.